I bought 19 untested PS3s from Goodwill, and in this video, we're gonna test and explore about 10 of them and see if we can turn a profit. Guys, welcome to The Hampton Hall. My profit goal today is $250, and we're gonna start with this PS3 Slim right here, which of course is dirty, beaten up, missing half the rubber feet. Uh, but let's plug it in and see if it works. All right, we got power, we got life, no free games, but let's see if it boots. What the heck? It just turned itself off when I was trying to unplug and plug back in the HDMI cable. That's, that's a bad sign. Come on, dude. <laughs> it just turned itself off again. Awesome. Yes, yeah, so this console's a dud. It just, uh, it has green light of death. Like I can't, it won't respond to anything. And eventually it just turns itself off. Very strange, but we'll put this in a future video, a future Hampton Hall video to try to fix it. But for now, we're gonna move on to this other PS3 Slim and see if it works. All right, here we are, finally booted up. And we got, oh, we got some profiles. We got Witchy One, Fit, Fema Fatal, Dakota, Monk, uh, Swag Prince, and Sebastian. We'll start with Sebastian, see if they got any games downloaded in. Oh, dude, I haven't seen that background in forever. I actually made a video. I think the very first video I ever made on my channel was about a PS3 controller, a PS4 controller on a PS3, and I had this background on that PS3 at that time. I, I don't know how I remember that. And we, oh, we got games. We got Final Fantasy IX for the PlayStation. We got Minecraft PS Vita Edition. Interesting, Dragon Age Inquisition. We also got the PS3 edition Minecraft. Dude, we got a, oh, we got a bunch of games. These are all full games too. Next up, we'll check out the message box. Anything here? Going mining, yeah. Straight up, definitely Minecraft for sure. Who's a noob? Lost internet. <laughs> These are like exactly what you expect. All super clean, super wholesome, but like, oh man, I love it. Dude, there's so many messages here and they're definitely 100% all, <laughs> they're all about Minecraft. Every single one I can just tell is Minecraft. That's, that's awesome. All right, now let's go ahead and just keep scrolling, see what, when the last time this thing was played. If you go to saved data utility here, we can see Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe back in 2016, so been quite a while. Uh, let's also ch check the, the firmware on this thing. All right, so 4.81, 160 gigs. Let's go ahead and put a game in though, see if it works. Yeah, we got MW2 booted up and working here. Uh, let's go back to the main menu, and I actually wanna boot up Minecraft and see if there's any, let's see what kind of saves we got on there. So we got a bunch of worlds here. Most of them are called New Worlds. We got Friends, Survive. Let's just check out the top one, which is Quest to Kill the Ender D. Uh, what does that mean? I don't know. Let's uh, pull it up though. Okay, here we go. We are in a little house here. Let's see if I can exit here. I don't know how to exit. I just knock, <laughs> knock down the door. Uh, I, I've said this a million times. I'm not a Minecraft player, so I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of exploring. What are those, like rubies or something? I don't know. And it's raining. I, I had no idea it could rain in Minecraft. Oh, I found a, what is that, a horse? Go away, horse. All right, well, <laughs> I don't see anything, anything too crazy going on here. So let's go back to the main menu before I drown. The most classic message of all time, you up. <laughs> we probably know what that's in reference to, but I'll just uh, not say anything. And maybe if we check some other messages, we can get some context and yep, I was right. What you're thinking is, is correct. Those messages were by far, like by far the worst ones I've seen on any PS3 consoles I've explored so far. That was, I, I can't show you, I can't tell you it was, it was bad, uh, you can probably guess. <laughs> and then we get to another profile and it's just somebody saying, no, I'm, I'm a mom of two. All right, well that PSG was something. I checked out all the profiles and most of them had like a few messages, but not, not much. But the, yeah, that one that I talked about was, yeah, it was bad. But the console's fully working. It'll be listed down below on my website called jarobgaming.com. So go check it out. Let's go ahead and move on to the next console. Now next up we have a 360 Slim and this one is of course just dirty as per usual. Uh, warranty seal is still intact. What is? Stickers peeling up though. Let's see if we have a hard drive inside and we do not, but let's plug it in, see if it works. Are you interested in a free game like Wii Sports or even a Texas Load and Hampton Hall sticker sheet? Well, if you are, it's your lucky day. Check out my link down below to whatnot and get a $15 credit if you sign up today. It's 100% free, no tax, no shipping, anything under $15 will be 100% free. And I only have this stack of games, so once these are gone, they're gone. So go check them out right now before they're sold out. All right, plugged in, let's see if it turns on. Got life, any free games? Yes, we got Star Wars Connect. I have not seen that game in ages, but it's worth like, you know, two bucks. Hey, it looks really clean though. Let's put it back in, make sure it works. Let's see if this thing boots up. Okay, here we go. We got Annie, Mary, Nancy, Player One, and of course the game boots up automatically. My pet peeve, but at least we know the game is working and I, <laughs> I need a Connect, but I don't have a Connect with me. Oh well, game's working. Let's go back to, what? Wait, hold on. <laughs> he just straight up disabled the Xbox guide. So I can't even go back when I'm booting up a Connect game. All right, back to it now. We're player one, rejected Orchid four. So yeah, not much going on here. Let's check out, I guess, rejected Orchid because that's the only Xbox Live profile, even though there's zero gamer score. We'll check it out anyway. And this dashboard looks like slightly old. It's not the newest Metro, but it's uh, still Metro, obviously. 
And yeah, I don't even know why I'm clicking on this guy. He doesn't have any gamer score. Let's check out one of the other profiles. All right, so we got Annie here. Last played offline, so nobody knows. Let's see if they have any games downloaded here. Uh, yeah, just all the standards. Of course, Connect Star Wars is in the, in the disc right now. And yeah, uh, not much going on with this console, honestly. And oh no, we have family settings. Oh, you, you could just tell from those profiles that it looks like a family of like kids, adults, even grandpa maybe. So of course there's some family settings on here. Uh, let's see if we can hack our way through this. So we'll go here and we gotta guess our passcode, which I'm usually pretty successful with. So let's try it out. Yes, <laughs> it was four Ys every time, I swear. All right, let's, uh, actually I'm kind of curious. Can I see what the, yeah. Oh, okay. I wanted to check out the passcode reset question. It was favorite food. I would have guessed pizza because I always guess pizza, but it's sushi. Okay, I, I see you. All right, let's turn this off. Save and exit. And now, now this console is good to go. Oh man, gotta, gotta, love, the, <laughs> gotta love the family settings. Well, let's go ahead and, uh, this thing coming all the way out. Yeah, it is. Okay, this console good to go. It'll be listed down below for sale. Let's go ahead and move on to the next console. Now, next up, I'm back in my Wii grind. I even got a Wii bag here. I don't think I can open it up. I think I actually might have to cut this bag open because it's tied so tight. There we go, got this bad boy opened up. We do, in fact, have a Wii inside. Oh, this thing is disgusting, gross. All right, we also have a bunch of random accessories. We have, oh, it's one of the, ew, it's yellow. <laughs> it's one of those chargers. We also have a stand. We have like four Wii remotes in here, which I'm sure are all corroded. There's actually five remotes in there. And then there's like a door handle or like a cabinet handle thing. Interesting. All right, well, let's plug this Wii in and see if it works. All right, power and oh, no free game. But let's see if the console works. All right, boot it up and it's like, oh, hey, wait. We finally have a secret channel. Hit the internet channels hidden on the second page. Not that it matters. But let's go ahead and put a game in. Make sure it works. I got Wii Sports in there and it is loading up now. This thing was uh, it pulled in games pretty slow. Let me just show you here. Here, so it comes out fine. But pulling the game in, it's just a uh, yeah, pretty slow. It it does work, but it could definitely use a cleaning on the rollers. It's a pretty easy fix, honestly. You open it up, clean the rollers with some isopropyl alcohol and a Q-tip, and five minutes later, you're good to go. I probably won't do that in this video because I've done it in the past and it's just like a very simple job and not worth really worth showing on camera. But let's go to the Wii channel, right? Or the Me channel. Check it out. Ooh, okay. We got a handful of Mii's. Oh, so it's another one of these where they just make, well, these are normal, but like the, the ones over here were just a bunch of random letters. Let's go ahead and check out the console nickname as well. Graham. All right, nothing special. I guess the guy's name is Graham. Although I didn't see a, I didn't see a Mii named Graham, which is interesting. All right, this console is good to go other than the, the slightly... Let's try it out again, actually. Yeah, it's still just going in slowly. Those rollers definitely need to clean, but it, it is working. But anyways, guys, this console will be listed down below for sale. Go check it out if you're interested. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Now, next up, I have a big boy PS3 to test out, and this thing is absolutely filthy. You can just tell on the top, and of course, it has this Zoo York Extra Large sticker t-shirt on it, which is an interesting choice. Let's go ahead and flip to the back and see what model number it is. It is a CECH P01, so that's either 40 gigs, 80 gigs, not backwards compatible, but let's plug it in and hope it works. Got it plugged in, but I also forgot to point out that our warranty seal is still intact and we're missing a hard drive cover. But let's uh, go ahead and flip the switch. Whew, that was close, we got power there. We got life and oh, we got a game inside. Yes, what is it, what is it? Oh, oh. <laughs> there's no way. Rodney Yee's Power Yoga Collection. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, all right, it's better than nothing, but come on, man. Dude, this thing booted up. I. I honestly had no expectation for this thing to boot up considering how it looks. But here we are, we're on, uh, we got two profiles. We got Tim and Silk. We'll start with Tim here. Any games? We got Final Fantasy 14. Nice, free game there. Let's check out the last time this guy played back in 2016. Great GTA 4, nice choice. Check out the message box. We got <laughs> somebody sent this guy, hey babes. It was from Dream Girl. Oh, mm -hmm. must be his girlfriend. Okay, so uh, D Money Wild Boy decided to send this guy probably the most vulgar message I've ever seen from anybody on the PS3 message system, which is saying something considering the PS3 we saw earlier. All right, let's check out the sent messages. <laughs> Wait, I just found the reply to that exact message, that vulgar message. It's uh, it's pretty funny. I I can't show it, but like it's it includes your mom. That that's I'll leave it at that. I can't really say anything else. Uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and put a game in though and see if it works. Wow, I, <laughs> I honestly cannot believe this this drive mechanism works. I, I can't believe anything here works, just how nasty it looks, but let's see if it loads up. Sure enough, it loads up. Man, it's always the consoles that look the worst that work. Not really, but I'll, I'm just saying that because 
It sounds cool. But let's try to go ahead and check out the other profile as well. Hold on, wait, I just <laughs> I just noticed there's a giant gash in the back corner of this console. There's another piece of evidence that makes me question how this console is working. Amazing. Well, maybe I gave this thing too much credit because I just had to turn it off and on because it froze right as I was talking, giving this thing a, a nice uh, nice compliment. But let's go ahead and check out Silk and see what's up there. And I forgot to check out how many gigs we have here. We're on 4.81. Oh, we got a oh we got a 160 gig hard drive. So somebody swapped the hard drive here, which is nice. Now let's check out Silk, see the last time this person played. 2014, Need for Speed Undercover. I never played that one. And then no messages, so not much going on here. But the console, surprisingly, is working. <laughs> It'll be listed down below for sale. We'll, of course, clean it up. But guys, let's go ahead and move on to the next console. So next up, we have a couple Wii consoles, and I'm a little concerned because there's a giant X on the top of this one, like somebody tested it and it didn't work. Uh, but we'll test it out. No, no SD card in there. This one looks a little, well, <laughs> this one looks disgusting, but it doesn't have an X on it. Oh. Oh, there's an SD card in this one. Oh, we got a 512 megabyte Polaroid. Let's go ahead and plug in this one right here first and see if it works. Got life and this drive sounds fine. There's no game inside, but let's go ahead and see if it boots up. Looks pretty standard. Let's go ahead and put a game inside. Pull it in a little slowly, but it's kind of just standard Wii things. Oh, okay. Yeah, the X makes sense now. <laughs> Well, let's go ahead and explore this one a little bit more, but we'll have to swap out the disk drive here, which will be a pretty easy fix, honestly. Let's go ahead and keep exploring. And I first want to check out the console nickname and see what's up there. Norman's. Nice. I guess the guy's name was Norman. <laughs> We're also going to check out the last time this thing was played. We've got some data right here in May of 2014. Of course, it's just a message, not even play data. So let's keep scrolling. All right, December 2013. And yeah, just answered for two hours. Dude, this is like the third console I've seen in the last few episodes where people are playing on December 24th, which is not surprising. People get together with family and they're like, hey, let's pull out the Wii and play it for the first time in five years, which is, uh, I think, a pretty common occurrence across a lot of families. But uh, yeah, this console is good to go. Actually, hold on, I forgot. We need to check out the Me channel. Wait, what? I, <laughs> I tried to boot up the Me channel and it gave me a, an eject button error. What? Well, that's a first. All right, let's try again. Okay, now it works. That was really weird. We have, what is that? Oh, it's like we got a question mark, but his name is something random. Then we have Jules, another person that just names their me's just with random letters and numbers and stuff. And wait, what is that? Rickitaboo? <laughs> okay. All right, well, the console is kind of working. We'll try to swap out the disk drive and see if that fixes the issue. Uh, if it doesn't, then that kind of sucks. But let's go ahead and move on to number uh, 98 right here and see if it works. All right, three, two, one. Got power. Ooh, we got a free game. Wii Sports. Oh, wait, hold huh? on. Okay, there we go. We got Deca Sports 3. No way. All right, so I, I I had Deca Sports on my Wii back when it came out, like when the Wii came out. I did not know they made three of them. I didn't even know they made two of them. All right, that's that's something not as good as a Mario game, but let's go ahead and boot this console up and see what it's got on it. All right, all the channels are pretty standard here. Let's go ahead and check out the SD card and see if they have any games saved to it. Yep, nothing here. We'll check out the photo channel as well. And nothing. All right, so great. Another... <laughs> Another Wii with an SD card that has nothing on it. So somebody put this theory in a comment on a, few, a previous video where they said some people bought SD cards and put them in their Wiis because they thought that was how you save data on it. So they just put the SD card in there just because. And they didn't know the, uh, the SD card was for like photos or putting channels on it, that sort of thing. So I guess that's plausible. Let's check out the Mii channel though. Okay, we got a handful of Mii's here. We got White Mike, what? Court Snort. Nerd guy, nice. <laughs> we got B, nice, that's my favorite one. Hey, somebody bought a Hampton Hall shirt. Now check it out, the last time this thing was played, we got some data here in January 2012. We've got We Play The Secret Rings for seven hours and Wipeout 2. Amazing, all right, cool. Well, <laughs> that was something, I haven't seen that before. And now last but not least, let's check out the console nickname, which is Dewey, yes! Oh, I love it. All right, cool, well this console is working unlike that sucky one right there. Now let's go ahead and move on to the next console. Now next up, we're gonna test out this PSD right here, which of course, as always, very, very beat up. We do still have a warranty sticker intact though. Flip it to the back, it is a model CECH G01. Uh, let's plug it in, see if it works. All right, let's hit that button. We got power and no free game. Hopefully it boots. Wait, what? <laughs> what was that red dash in the top right hand corner? I I don't think I've ever seen that, but it did boot up without an issue here. Let's go ahead and just start and see if we got any games downloaded. Nope, no games at all. We got any profiles? Just, <laughs> dude, Fred, what an awesome name. All right, let's go ahead and we got some, oh, we got a screenshot from PlayStation Home. I never played PlayStation Home, but this looks like a throwback image. That's like a, the epitome of a 2010 gaming image right there. We also got 
act of valor. <laughs> I'm writing a movie here. All right, let's just start by putting a game in and see if it works. There you go, man. It is booting up, and ooh, this guy played some MW2 because you can see the completion of 52.7. Very specific. Oh, multiplayer 100%. That's impressive. And yeah, this guy played offline multiplayer a lot. There's a lot of saves here. Let's go ahead and take the latest one and load it up. We got some extra classes unlocked, like the Riot Control, which I'd never seen on these consoles because pretty much every console I boot up does not have any offline multiplayer data. But here we go. Oh, I mean, I remember using this back in 2010 when I played with my friends, 2009 actually probably. Uh, but let's go ahead and uh, go back to the main menu and check some other stuff out. All right, next up we'll hit up the message box. We've got some... Huh? Hey, dear Fred Fredgra, been a long time since you used your PSN wallet. This looks like a, one of those scam things, but maybe it's real. Probably not. Oh, hey, Fred. Nice. They even knew, knew Fred's name. Let's go ahead and check out the sim messages. Uh, <laughs> every time. I, <laughs> let me know when your mom lets you get one. That's classic, like, 12-year-old, 13-year-old talk there. Awesome. Network issues. Get to bed early. You have an early date. <laughs> now this guy sounds like his dad. <laughs> but last but not least, let's go ahead and see what kind of hard drive we have here. 40 gigs. Wow. We only have, we have less than a gig of free space left. 4.55. That's pretty old there. Um, oh, actually, one more thing. I need to check out the last time this guy played. So, save data utility. Let me sort this now. Last played, oh, that was my save data. <laughs> last played Call of Duty Black Ops 2 in 2013. So, quite a long time. Well, this console is good to go. It'll be listed down below for sale. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Now, next up, we have a couple of Wii's to test out. They're both GameCube compatible. Let's we'll see if they have SD cards. Nope, neither of them do. I already got this one plugged in, so let's see if it turns on. It does, and we got a game inside. All right, what is it? Let's, let's see. Just Dance, again. What is this like the, this must be the OG Just Dance. What year is this from? Like 2010, wow. We're booted up here and the game is loading up. Everything looks pretty standard here. Let's go ahead and start with uh, the Mii channel and see what's going on there. Oh, oh yes, nice. Got like 30 Mii's here, we've got, wow. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I, I can't show that to you guys. Bean of beans, what does that mean? Let's go ahead and check out the last time this thing was played. All right, here we go. December 2011, looks like everybody just decided to play Wii Fit this one day. Uh, Wii Sports, Wii Sports, and what, why did they say Wii Fit, but nobody, I guess you can do the Wii Fitness test without playing a game and it doesn't add it to your play history. Oh no, strange, but last but not least, let's check out the console nickname. Tank, yeah, this thing, I mean, it's, it's not wrong. These Wiis are tanks. The number of Wiis I get, they just look disgusting, filthy, beat up like crazy and then they work perfectly and have a copy of Wii Sports inside is amazing. This console is working though. It'll be listed down below for sale. You can see it's number 94. Let's go ahead and move on to this one next to it and see if that works. By the way guys, if you haven't seen my other Hampton Hall video where I found an absolute jackpot in a Wii, go check that out up, up on the screen. We'll see if this one boots up. Wait, hold on. The faceplate is all messed up. Look at that. I can barely press it down. All right. But there's definitely a game inside. Uh, let's see what's in here. If I can press eject. Come on. God, that was stupid. There we go. I finally got the faceplate back in place, and yes, Wii Sports Resort. Now, this game pretty beat up, but probably works. Let's check. Ooh, we got, <laughs> we got a, <laughs> we got a photo on the photo channel of uh, <laughs> a kid with sunglasses on. <laughs> oh, man, we got a bunch of stuff here. Actually, we got the Wii, tran Wii U transfer tool, so you know this person transferred over to a Wii U. We also got a copy of Uno here. What? Oh, yeah, sensitivity, sensitivity way low. Hold on, let me fix that. All right, that's better. Let's check out the console nickname, F Pfeifferland. N no guesses as to what that means. But let's go ahead and uh, boot up the game, make sure it works. All right, here we go, boot it up. I'm gonna see what kind of memes we got here. We've got Toad, what was that, Toadweiser? Oh, dude, uh, we only have like 10 memes. Eh, not much going on here. Let's go, let's check out Toadweiser and play some, uh, play some Wii Bowling. Looks like this guy's actually played. He had a high score of 1,500, which is just insane for a bowling, <laughs> bowling game. <laughs> oh, I haven't played this in so long. Twin row, let's go. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Oh, baby. All right, started off slow. Finished strong with a record of 2100. Nah, no, come on, Sky. You had a 2798? Oh, no, nah, come on. I was so happy too. All right, well, this game is working. Let's go back to the main menu. Now, checking out the meme menu, we do have, we actually have more than 10 memes. We have like 15 maybe. We got Ginger Snap, Bella, Cooper, Sky. Oh, there's Sky. The infamous Sky. They got 2798 in bowling. Toadweiser, there he is. There's my man, Toadweiser. All right, guys, this console's fully working. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So next up, we have a 360 Slim, and of course, just very beat up as always. 
This thing feels very heavy. I think it's just because of the model, but let's go ahead and check the hard drive. Yep, we got 250 gigs and ooh, that thing is dusty. All right, let's uh, plug it in, see if it works. Of course. I do this every time. I accidentally press the, uh, the, the eject button as I was trying to plug this thing in. So no free game, that's unfortunate, but let's see if it boots up. Okay, well, oddly enough, there is no video output. I can't get it to work. Uh, I'm gonna swap to an AV cable and see if that fixes the issue. All right, well, there it is. It works over AV, but not HDMI. I think I've seen that like maybe one ever, other time ever. So I don't know, busted, a, busted uh, HDMI port, I guess. Let's see if we have anything downloaded. No games, okay. This thing actually looks factory reset. Let me check the storage here. Wow, yes, somebody, one in a million, somebody actually factory reset their, their 360 before they donated it. You don't see that very often. But let's test, test out a game and see if it works. This looks so much worse over AV than HDMI. I mean, obviously, but uh, yeah, game is working. This console is working fine. There's not really much to explore since they're, they actually factory reset their console. Can't blame them. Uh, but yeah, this console's good to go. It'll be listed down below for sale. Actually, it's not quite good to go. I, I, let me explore some more and see if I can figure out how to fix this HDMI thing. Okay, so now it's working fine. I just basically went to the settings and wow, it looks so much better. I went to the settings, console settings, display and changed it to 1080p while it was still on the AV. And then I took out the AV cable, plugged in the HDMI and whew, there's a lot of dust coming out of this thing. I'm about to sneeze. Dude, oh my goodness. There's, there's dust like all around here from this console and the last console. You can just, ugh. All right, but anyways, it is working now fully. All right, guys, well, let's go, go ahead and move on to the next console. So next up, we're gonna test out a couple of Wii's here. They are both black GameCube compatible Wii's, which you don't see terribly often, except that I saw these a lot in this lot, surprisingly. Now, do we have an SD card? Nothing in there, and nothing here either, other than a bunch of dust bunnies, but let's plug them in, see if they work. Starting with this Wii on the right side, let's go ahead and turn it on, and I guess it sounds fine, but no, no free game, which is unfortunate. Let's go ahead and see if this console works though. Looks pretty standard here. Let's go ahead and put in Wii Sports, make sure that loads up. And in the meantime, we'll go ahead and load up, load up the Mii channel and see what's on it. Okay, I see you. We've got a handful of Mii's. We get Bushy. So the interesting part here to me is we have Dad. We also have Daddy, no comment. But let's go back and uh, make sure Wii Sports works. Yep, Wii Sports is good to go. Let's go ahead and check out the last date this thing was played. December 2016. We've got, oh wow. Somebody played a lot in December 2016. We got. Sean White Skate and four hours of Wii Sports. So what is this? Oh yeah, it's Christmas Eve, dude. The family definitely got together and she decided that they were gonna play a bunch of Wii Fitness and wait, hold on, why, why did Wii Fitness pop up when it didn't say Wii Fitness in the play? Whatever, clearly basically the whole family got together and played some Wii Sports on Christmas Eve, which is just, I don't know, just a, a funny little history tidbit to see. Now last but not least, let's go ahead and check out the console nickname. TCC slash CTC. I don't even know what to say. I don't know what that means. I don't know what to, okay, whatever. Let's go ahead and eject the disc and move on to this console right here. All right, let's turn it on. Three, two, one. Oh, the front faceplate is kind of jacked up a little bit. Uh, there's definitely a disc inside though. Let's see, Wii Sports. <laughs> what do you know? It is indeed Wii Sports. All right, let's put that back in. Make sure that works. Man, every time you gotta love the free copies of Wii Sports and it is loading up. We got all the standard channels here. Nothing special. Let's go ahead and start by We'll boot up Wii Sports and check out the Miis that way. We got 22 Miis, nice. That, nothing looks, cr no, no crazy Miis, not like they don't have any Snoopy or Garfield or anything, but we got, we got Bacon, let's go. All right, Bacon. Oh, Bacon's a lefty? Oh crap, I'm, I'm toast now. Get out of here. Oh, dude, they, they got me with the angle and everything. I thought for sure that was out of the park and it was just a freaking pop-up. All right, though, that, oh, man. Left. I don't swing without lefty, so that kind of messed up my shoulder a little bit. I already have some left shoulder problems so that don't feel great, but the console's working. Let's go ahead and check out the last time this thing was played. Oh, hold on. April of 2021? Oh, okay, okay. I see you. Yeah, there's the Wii Sports. There's the last time I played Wii Sports and then dumped the console off. Now, of course, you also got to check out the console nickname. It's Bacon. Yes. Yes. Classic. That's awesome. Love seeing Bacon. Actually, let's go back to the Wii, the, the Mii channel. Let's see if we can see anything else interesting there. And yeah, like I said, 22 Mies here. Nothing crazy other than bacon. Wait, there's multiple bacons. Bacon, bacon. Wait, Debbie, is that like the, the Disney actor? That is, that would not surprise me at all. This is definitely a kid that loves bacon and they also watch Disney Channel. So they made Debbie Ryan, the Disney Channel star from 15 years ago. And <laughs> that's hilarious. But this console's working. Let's go ahead and put it to the side. And of course, this thing will be listed down below for sale on my website. So go check it out. Let's go ahead and move on to the next console. I also just noticed that the Wii Sports in this Wii right here is I believe the new copy of Wii Sports. I, I really don't remember the exact differences, but the, I think there's some minor differences. You can see, just physically, you can see that the, I think the blue is a slightly different color. And then also the text is all white versus 
some of the text over here is clear and you can see the disc through it. So next up, I have a couple Wii consoles. This one has both flaps and tech. You don't see that very often. Uh, it looks pretty decent other than this giant scuff on the front. This one, flaps are missing. No SD card. Well, let's plug them in and see if they work. Three, two, one. We got power. Ooh, there's a game inside. We get a Mario Kart. Oh, yes. I guessed it. Mario Kart. Let's go. Come on. I don't know why I went back in the first time. Uh, disc looks decent. Let's go ahead and boot it up and see if it works. Well, uh, the disk drive is making some very funny noises. Great, so game doesn't work, but <laughs> there it is. All right, awesome. I'm sure this console just stopped reading games. The person dumped the console to the side, took it to Goodwill, and that was that. Let's go ahead and boot it back up and check out the Me channel. I was making some really strange noises. We'll check out the Me channel and just some other stuff here. All right, here we are. We got four Mies. Looks like a small family. K Ray, Drunk, Drunken, <laughs> Meg Megadi and Camster. Oh, so they all got nicknames. That's kind of funny. And next up, we'll check out the console nickname. <laughs> home. Great. Maybe they had two Wii's. They had one at home and one at work. I don't know. Let's go ahead and check out the last time this thing was played. Here we are, May 2021. Wow. Just Dance for over a full day. <laughs> I love seeing the 24 hours. Over 24 hours in one day is just awesome. But Just Dance back in, yeah, two years ago. Kind of crazy to see a Wii played that, mo that recently. But this console is partially good to go. It works, except for the disk drive, which is obviously an issue. We'll put this console to the side for a future video and repair it. The disk drive issues are pretty easy to repair on a Wii because personally, I just swap out the disk drive. Super easy to do. But let's go ahead and move on to this console and see if it works. All right, three, two, one, we got power. And oh, no free game, but, but we can put in Mario Kart and see if Mario Kart works on this Wii. Great, got the slow rollers, awesome. Oh, we got a Pokemon Rumble demo, that's so random. Honestly, I don't remember demos at all from the Wii. Where, where did this come from? Okay, well, Mario Kart's loading up. That's a good sign. And do we have any secret channels? We do not. But let's go ahead and boot up the Mii channel and see what's going on there. Actually, no, 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 no. We'll go to Mario Kart first and check out the Mii's through Mario Kart. Oh, dang. Dude, we got Rob and he's got, he's got gold on everything. Impressive. We also got Caitlyn here. But dude, Rob, what a boss. He actually kind of looks like my Mii as well. He's got the, the whole afro and everything going on. All right, let's go back to the main menu and check out Rob a little bit closer. Oh crap, okay, I see, I see you. We got a bunch of me's here. All right, we got Bray Baby. This is so interesting. Every single person here has like a legit name. Here's Rob, we got the man, the myth, the legend, the guy that beat Mario Kart. And everybody else here, I've been searching around and every single one is like a, just like a normal name. There's no gibberish, nothing that was like downloaded by, from the Check Me Out channel. It's all, it's like this person just created a bunch of me's on their own, like real people. But let's go ahead and check out the console nickname next. And Wheezy Wee, oh, nice. Oh, that's, that's funny. Uh, <laughs> I really wish there was a little Wayne me on here now. Uh, okay, <laughs> let's go to the, uh, the calendar here and check out the last time this thing was played. All right, July 2014, we got some play data. Last played, Mario Strikers charged for three minutes. <laughs> what? Dude, that definitely looks like somebody who just booted up the me for the last, or the Wii for the last time to check if it worked. And they were like, all right, let's get rid of this crap. And now I have it. But the console works, which is awesome. Got the free game in the last console. Uh, but yeah, this console is good to go. It'll be listed down below for sale. But guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you want to buy any consoles from this lot, go ahead and check out the link down below to my website. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.